Hey guys, welcome back to Roman Ruins. So today I am in Cardiff, not far from the city. I've pulled up in this little village down by here and I'm looking for the remains of St. Mary's Virgin Church, which I know is basically in that direction. So I can either go up that steep climb there or we can go the way where they've got steps. So uh, I'm going to do the steps for now. Not exactly sure of the actual path, but I'm sure we'll find it. It just occurred to me I haven't had any breakfast or... Uh, well, I got my water with me. So I think today, after this explore, I'll be going to find food in Cardiff and do a bit of Mother's Day shopping, I think. That's coming up quickly. Ugh. Walk into a cobweb. Right. Right, it is extremely muddy on this path as well. Had quite a lot of rain the other day, I was hoping it would dry up. Quite slippery as well. Full branch. Right, so I'm hoping this path loops up and then goes to the left. So instead of like climbing up that steep hill, I thought I'd go this way first, see if it takes me to where I need to go. And we'll go from there. Man. Ugh. Well, I did not realise how slippy this muddy hill would be today. Ah, oh, my gosh. Sip so many times. I haven't fallen yet. I thought these boots would be uh, great for grip. But oh my gosh. Anyway, so I'm resting against a tree for now. Uh, there's a little bit left. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be okay. I don't want to catch or never fall like uh, Ogmore Castle that time on the stepping stones. These boots are great for... Uh, I don't know if you can see it. It's all over the place. Great for... Uh, walking in comfort, but maybe not grip so much. Okay, let's go see if we can find this church in, and hopefully I won't be muddy. Well, someone's had a fire here recently, so I must be on the right track. Looks a bit crazy that way, but there's a path going left, so hopefully we'll go that way, and it'll bring us out into the field. Man, why did you build a church so far up here? Okay, so I've just come out of the woods by there, to this lovely open grassy green bit. And, as you can see, I can see the church in the background right by there. So, we found it. But I'm just taking in the view a minute, it's lush. So everyone, meet Cardiff. Uh, I'll be heading in that way soon for a... Uh, well, hopefully, like I said, get some food, but we, first... Really intrigued to see this place, so I'll climb up the hill by there and I'll show you what we've got. There it is guys, St. Mary's Church. More people have been camping up by here. Quite quiet, no one around at the moment. I'm not sure if this is private land or not, but no sign saying no trespassing to keep out. So, yeah, the world is ours. Okay, so, I think we'll go to the left. You can still see the cross at the top of the church, that's awesome. Lovely sunny March day. Ah. And there it is, oh, Christ Street. <laughs> I gotta go down there, great. There it is. I'll see if it's an easier path to the right. Nice. Well, an easier path, but uh, quite a muddy one. I don't know how far I'm going to... Try the side, shall we? Yeah, man. You know, sometimes I just wish I'd gone into Cardiff and left it. There we go. Not too bad. Right, we'll go around the side. See if we can get a closer look. Right, well that is, wasn't easy but I'm inside. So, let's have a gander at this end.
here it is St Mary's Virgin Church what's that of it a lot of old gravestones we'll have a look at those and we'll see how old they are But just in case I'm not supposed to be here and someone turns up, we'll uh, get this done. Right. Look how cool that is. So this would be in the main church. You've got that one looks like there used to be a room in the back. It's all caved in now, all filled in. Right. And here's the front. So apparently this was built in the 12th century. And oh look at that. Simple path to get in. Ah. Why did I not go that way? Some is blocked off. Well, as you can see, it obviously is knocked down. Here we go. What years are these? Oh, it says 156. You can't actually see on. Oh, 1933. I imagine these might be 1800 to 1900 odd. So yeah, this would have been the entrance. Very small, isn't it? Oh, I've got a hole there. <sighs> right, I've put the torch on now. I don't know if you can actually see any piece inside there or. Very hard to see, isn't it? Probably watch our back and see something that fix me completely out. So we've got one here that passed away in 1870 odd I think. I wonder if there's any family left that still come here. Looks like 1884 from what I can tell. There we go. 1865, 1891. Wow. Long time ago. So here's the church from the outside. I think this has been rebuilt over the years though, so I don't think everything you see now is the original uh, 1200s. And I go, I'm gonna try and go down that road, see where that takes me. Yeah, 1896. Look at how like the tombs are and stuff. That's amazing compared to your normal grave. Yeah. Nice. I do like that cross. Big farm is filled behind me. Some more of the tombs. Yeah, 1896. A lot of these then seem to be from that era. I don't have another shot at the uh, church bay. Oh. Nice. Do you know what's quite sad about this cemetery though? Because it's like in such ruins and so all, like a lot of people lie here. Like very likely forgotten about. I see some daffodils there. Eh? But I'm wondering, I wonder like how many relatives are left to actually come here and pay their respects. I mean, you know, a lot of these um, graves on the right hand side here are now faded completely and the left one hand side ones are more intact but you can see here there's nothing on them, the ones that do have a tombstone. Well, that's 1921, it's not so bad. 
got to spend, I've got to stop spending so much time in graveyards. <laughs> 1922. Let's take a look at this back one here. Nineteen nineteen. Okay, that's enough looking at graves. So yeah, eighteen hundreds, early nineteens, and that's when people were buried up here. Anyhow, one last look at this lovely monument of a church. Nice. Nineteen twenty-two. Window all the way at the top there. I wish I was long gone then. Access there. It looks like that used to be a door as well. Okay guys, I think that's pretty much it now for another Roman in the Ruins. Thank you for watching as ever. Um, okay, so I decided any ruins I want to go explore, not after a weekend of heavy rainfall, if it's in a field, and yeah, maybe summertime. <laughs> Absolutely bogging. Anyhow, um, this is one that's been on my list for a while. Um, I was searching for a place I could go today, but I decided to go shopping in Cardiff instead. However, I have found several new locations to try out uh, over the course of this year, preferably not any muddy, muddy field. I didn't show you the mud outside there that I had to climb through to get in here without going for the proper entrance. Uh, it was deep. Anyhow, thank you for joining me. Um, if you're watching this and you're in South Wales and you know of any good locations or you maybe want to join me one day, um, leave me a comment below and see what we can sort. Okay guys, thanks for watching, so a boom, see you soon. Okay, so it clearly would have made more sense if I had gone up this road in the first place. So imagine that church many years ago, people would go up this track around there, and it's actually, I don't know if you can see it from here, it's in the distance there, top of the hill. Okay, let's hope I can go back to the car. Otherwise I'll be going back to the hill, and back there on a very steepy muddy hill.